Welcome to the results podcast for the fourth year of the Natural England Monitor of Engagement with the Natural Environment Survey, or MENI for short. MENI is a weekly survey that has uniquely been undertaken continuously since March 2009. MENI is the first time that data relating to visits and attitudes towards the natural environment have been collected on an ongoing basis. Collecting this data through MENI not only allows visit behaviour to be investigated, but also analysed against attitudes to the outdoors, pro-environmental behaviours and benefits gained from engaging with the natural environment. MENI collects information on who does and who does not visit the natural environment, why people engage and the barriers that prevent engagement. The survey also allows us to estimate the total volume, value and profile of visits to the outdoors, along with a wide range of other related areas, such as attitudes to the outdoors and pro-environmental activities. Since the survey began, over 180,000 interviews have been undertaken with adults aged 16 and over living in England. The size of the sample provides an opportunity to explore the data in relation to specific population groups, geographic areas and over time. This podcast presents the results from year four of the survey, which ran from March 2012 to February 2013. Trend information and comparisons with previous surveys have been highlighted where appropriate. Levels of visit taking vary amongst the English adult population. Around a third of the population visit regularly, meaning twice a week or more. However, around 1 in 10 indicate that they rarely visit the natural environment, and a similar proportion that they never visit at all. This consistency recorded in visit taking over the first four years of MENI shows that the majority of adults living in England visit the outdoors on at least a monthly basis. Although the general tendency to visit the outdoors has remained relatively consistent since MENI began, the actual number of visits taken has been more variable. The volume of visits taken to the natural environment can be affected by factors such as weather conditions and hours of daylight. A significant benefit of collecting monthly visit data through MENI is that it allows estimates of the volume of visits taken to the natural environment in England to be produced for specific periods. This means we can observe the impact of events such as periods of extreme weather, be it a severe winter or a mild bank holiday, as well as other significant events. During the fourth year of the survey, an estimated 2.9 billion visits were taken by members of the English adult population to the natural environment, a similar visit estimate to that recorded during March 2009 to February 2010. The year four estimate of 2.9 billion visits equates to an average of 67 visits being taken per adult over the course of a year. Typically, around one in four visits taken to the natural environment incur expenditure. Those who spent money while visiting the natural environment spent an average of £27 per visit, which means that the expenditure on visits to the natural environment in England last year was an estimated £21 billion. As mentioned previously, the information collected through MENI allows the data to be analysed below the overall population level and this provides some interesting insights. For example, the population groups most likely to engage were those between the ages of 25 and 64, members of the more affluent ABC1 socioeconomic groups, those of white ethnic origin, those with children in the household, and those in paid employment. In addition, those with no long-term illness or disability, and those living in the 10% least deprived areas in England were more likely to have engaged with the natural environment. MENI not only records visit behaviour, but also the motivations for taking visits to the outdoors. Visits can be taken for a number of reasons, however the most commonly cited motivation for visiting the natural environment was exercising a dog, cited by just under half of those visiting the outdoors. Other frequently mentioned motivations cited for engaging with the natural environment were health or exercise, to relax or unwind, and for fresh air or to enjoy pleasant weather. MENI also allows the opportunity to look at those with lower levels of engagement. The groups least likely to engage with the natural environment are those of black or minority ethnic origin, those aged 65 and over, 
those with a long-term illness or disability, those in the least affluent socioeconomic groups, and those living in the most deprived areas of England. The most frequently cited reason for not visiting the outdoors was a lack of time, either due to work or commitments in the home. Physical restrictions such as old age, disability or illness were a barrier for around a quarter of those who did not visit at all or visited infrequently, while just under a fifth indicated that there was no particular reason for not visiting more often. Most of the barriers cited as reasons for not visiting the outdoors have not varied significantly over the four years of MENI. However, cost as a barrier has increased from 4% to 7% over this period, while mentions of poor weather have risen from 8% to 11% over the same period of time. Data from MENI has shown that a high proportion of visits to the natural environment are taken close to home. Across all four years of surveying, around two-thirds of visits were taken within two miles of home. Reflecting this finding, around two in three visits were undertaken on foot in year four, while three in ten involved travelling by car and a very small proportion involved public transport. The predominantly local nature of visits is reflected in the types of places that are visited with parks and towns and cities the most frequently visited destinations in England since the survey began. In year four, visits to this type of destination accounted for an estimated 710 million outdoor visits. Over the last four years, the other most frequently visited destinations have been paths, cycleways and bridleways, woodland, rivers, lakes and canals and farmland. As shown, a wide range of activities are undertaken on visits taken by members of the English adult population to the natural environment. By far the most frequently undertaken activity is dog walking, with this activity undertaken on an estimated 1.4 billion visits per year, around half of all visits taken to the outdoors. Around a quarter of visits, or an estimated 769 million visits per year, involve walking without a dog, while an estimated 235 million visits included playing with children. The activities undertaken during visits to the outdoors vary within the population. For example, those aged 45 or over are more likely than other age groups to take visits that involve walking with a dog. 44% of visits taken by those in the black and minority ethnic population involved walking without a dog, while 19% of visits taken by this group involved playing with children. As well as recording visit details and profiling those who visit, MENI also explores the benefits of engaging with the natural environment. Last year, over two-fifths of visits taken to the outdoors were taken for health reasons. MENI also explores other benefits of engaging with the natural environment. Around two-fifths of those who visited the natural environment in year four strongly agreed that they enjoyed themselves while 3 in 10 indicated that their visit made them feel calm and relaxed, and a similar proportion that their visit made them feel refreshed and revitalised. Detailed analysis of MENI data has shown that positive benefits of visiting the natural environment are most likely to be gained on visits to the coast, mountains and moorland, and on visits that involved enjoying scenery as an activity. The large sample size and wide range of topics covered in MENI allow for a great deal of in-depth analysis. This has allowed us to obtain new insight on a number of key areas that are of interest to in Natural England and their partners, including how members of key population groups engage with the natural environment and the barriers to doing so. It allows us to look a bit deeper at the relationship between visits to the outdoors and levels of care or concern for the natural environment. The number of interviews undertaken so far, which will be further boosted by those undertaken in Year 5, also allow key results to participation to be analysed at an individual local authority level. The value of MENI can be seen in the variety of ways in which the data is being used and in the robust evidence it provides on visits and attitudes to the natural environment. Data from MENI supports national indicators such as Biodiversity 2020, the ONS Wellbeing Survey and the Public Health Outcomes Framework, as well as work done by organisations including the University of Brighton, the University of Exeter 
and the University of East Anglia. The aim of this podcast is to provide an overview of some of the results coming out of MENI and to provide information on what is possible with the data collected. More information from MENI can be found on the Natural England website along with copies of the annual reports, quarterly result updates, a link to the online data viewing tool and the results of targeted in-depth analysis that has been undertaken on subjects such as the engagement of children with the natural environment. In addition, the MENI Spatial Report presents visual geographic analyses of the data. This demonstrates ways in which information from the survey can be utilised to investigate where people go, how far they travel for their visits, and how this relates to the provision of outdoor recreation opportunities close to where people live. Such analysis provides a greater understanding of provision and behaviour at a local level. If you would like to find out more about the survey, please contact the MENI survey team at meany at naturalengland.org.uk. Thank you.